Well, Moldova uh, has uh, largely opened its doors. Uh, we, are, are, we are receiving um, more than 250,000 people from Ukraine, uh, which crossed the border from the beginning of the war, from the invasion of Russia and uh, Ukraine. Um, half of, or many of those people are leaving Moldova within one or two days uh, for other destinations. Uh, but there is an enormous uh, number of people which uh, are still staying in Moldova. It is um, around uh, 120,000 people. Uh, just to compare it to the second largest city in Moldova. So, of course, the uh, government uh, is concentrated to give all the assistance it can. Uh, and on Moldovan soil, uh, there is a Russian army. Uh, there is also uh, the biggest in Europe uh, stockpile of ammunition that, uh, that also belongs to the Russian army. Uh, almost 20 ton, uh, tons of uh, uh, different ammunitions which are stocked there. Uh, of course, there are, there are risks uh, and it, it would be unfair and not correct to say that we, are, we don't feel any risks. Uh, but following the official information that we have, uh, the situation is, uh, is, from the military point of view, is stable in the Transnistrian region in Moldova. Uh, and we count very much that the war uh, that Russia has in Ukraine will stop immediately and uh, peace will come and recovering, uh, uh, building uh, rebuilding Ukraine will start uh, very, very soon.